play to potential extra what else did you consider what was the runner up on that list of uh, ideas you were trying to pursue i kind of got a little bit scared of trying to go into that business though i believed in it more another business i had in mind was more like i think second home rentals because i realized that a uh, lot of people have second homes and they are not being used so it was a little bit like airbnb but not really the primary homes but mm. you know secondary homes people would rent for a weekly rentals and i thought that business would work but because i i, I believe that that business would definitely work in europe but i felt that in india with our weather conditions and limitations of you know domestic travel because of the weather conditions i felt that it's not such a good business so i rejected it so to speak and the third was beauty and in beauty i i was inspired by sephora i'd seen sephora in the us and i would buy more beauty in sephora than in other retailers like cvs so i felt a sephora like format which is multi brand retail gives advice from a customer perspective is a good way to go rather than push 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 from a brand perspective and um, i just jumped in um when i think about it i was a bit scared i knew that if i was performing a ballet it was not new york but i said god please let it be at least bombay and not timbuktu <laughs> so because the beauty industry was so small in india at that point and i knew i needed to grow it i just uh, wish that consumer would respond and consume beauty a lot of people used to say indian women don't consume beauty and beauty is very big business in japan and south korea and us so i said okay if it's you know if i'm performing a ballet okay maybe it's not those markets but let it be at least bombay understood and just from a life stage perspective given the average age of the average entrepreneur uh, clearly you took that call at a very different stage and having and after having spent a lot of time on the advisory side so how did you did you how did you uh, wrestle with that was it a consideration in the sense is it right for me at this stage of life no no i wanted to do it before i turned 50 because i felt that once i turned 50 i won't have the motivation to do it i thought i mean those days also retirement age was 58 or sometimes stretched to mid 60s so i felt i had a solid uh, 12 years or so to commit to uh, my new work uh, so i wanted to do it then i personally being a mother of two kids i never felt i was ready before that Hmm. I felt I had too much on my plate with my job and my kids to want to do entrepreneurship because I knew that entrepreneurship will make me commit and work hard like never before and that is absolutely true I worked very very hard ever since I became an entrepreneur because to see the business to the finishing line needs a lot of time commitment lot of hard work and yeah a lot of effort